예, 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 예. 어. 
the right two lanes for the fastest. You will pass everyone by like 10 minutes. There are things that he has said that are just plain false. He's the only one outside of the establishment. He's not a politician, he's a businessman. First of all, you don't want businessmen running this country. You want freedom, you don't want business. Business is nothing about freedom. Business is about profit. He will make the money. Whoa! I almost sang as good as her. Probably sang as good as her. She has no voice. That's why you should never let people tell you what you can't do. Telling me that I can't like make it because I don't have a good voice is like saying you're not human because you're too hairy. Election day today. Are you voting? Fog. It's just like being back in the UK again. I love it. I love it. It's like warm and foggy and yeah. Cockroaches everywhere. 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 a car. Sub. Unique. What you looking at? What you, what you looking What you looking at? Me? What you looking at? Me? Finally convinced and proven that an education does not make you at all smart. If I ever have kids, which right now it doesn't look like I will, I would never let them work and go to school at the same time. Because that way I'm just paying money for, or they're paying money for absolutely no reason. It, it, they should just buy the degree instead of actually going to school. If you work, you'll be exhausted. You won't be motivated to actually learn anything. You're just going just so people know that you have a degree. And then it's absolutely pointless. You're paying for nothing. Not that education is perfect and perfectly makes people think critically and absorb knowledge and have a sense of, you know, common sense. And then of course you want to save all your money and greedy and you don't want to be taxed on it because you just wasted it and deep down you know that you just did. Got my sticker voted. It is so awesome. My mood just changed so much by people saying thanks for good voting, like the people who check you in. It's so nice. Like, that's the kind of things I keep wanting to have in this country. People who are nice to each other. Sus comentarios realmente importan. Por favor, tome un momento para que nos diga sobre su experiencia electoral más reciente. Vaya al www.443vote.com. <laughs> your feedback makes a difference. Please take a moment to tell us about your voting experience. After I voted, when people here um, who like check you in, they all said like, thanks for voting. It just, I want to cry. Like it warms my heart. And I don't want that to go away. I want more of that. I want more people like that who are nice and compassionate and good. And we're in this together and we're people. Like it's a recognition that we're the same. We're people. And no matter what, like they didn't, they didn't know who I voted for. And that's like the awesome thing. It wasn't about who I voted for. It was that I voted. Honestly, it is because of two people and they're pretty much on the extreme end because of Trump and because of Bernie. I don't care what anyone thinks and who anyone votes for, but these two people have made such an incredible voting year. So you have Trump to whichever extreme, racism, wealth for the top 10%, profit over people, over planet, over everything, no diplomacy, no realization of how politics work, how the world works, how economics work, what war means. I think people might not realize how interconnected the whole world is. 
And then you have the extreme of free education, free health care, all for the lower class and all for the people who struggle and who work two, three jobs to be able to survive or give their kids a chance to survive. No one expected Trump to go this far. No one expected Bernie to go this far. That's the spot I want right here. This is an interesting parking. People are so fed up on both sides. I work two jobs. I go from nine to three to one job, 30 minutes away, 40 minutes away. And then I come back another like 30 minutes to my second job from four to seven. And I can barely pay stuff. I don't have health insurance from work because I'm not full time. I have a master's degree. I applied so hard at jobs. I changed my resume a thousand times. I listened to what people said and I did whatever I could these whole years to be able to have a full-time job. People just don't understand that. They don't understand. They see maybe that I post, oh yay, sushi. It's food, first of all. Food, like to me, food is the most important and my stomach can't handle just any food and it's complicated. And it just like it goes to show like people people's ignorance when they think that everyone should be like them until you're in that position when you have cancer or, or when you have that struggle and you go oh yeah this is what it felt like and all this time i was blaming them for this i was blaming them for that now i get it but it's too late those who are not sick who don't have pains or who think they have pains, who think they have sicknesses, those who have a lot of money, whether through hard work or through their parents' hard work, have been fortunate to have the right genes or genetic makeup to be a certain color, a certain health. I wish those people didn't have to go through hard times to understand what going through hard times means and how impossibly hard it is to get out of them and how you can't judge what someone's going through based on what they look. A lot of people don't look but it's like fresh air it's such a like a fresh air i loved i'm cold but i love it i'm in such a good mood i was watching superwoman she just puts me in such a good mood my political rants and everything They've died down. They've also died down because because I'm just not taking my friend seriously anymore. And even if he is serious, such is life. There's all sorts of people out there. I'm back home and I I so don't look how oh I so don't look like I like. Yeah. I don't look like I like. I don't like what I look like either. I'm gonna put this in my scrapbook. <laughs> which I don't have. So that's going to go down there for a while. Also as a side let me take this off. <laughs> also as a side note, I think my favorite part and what I'm looking for and what I want out of all of this is the editing part. Like I'm looking forward to edit. I'm looking forward to being busy. Two thousand sixteen, gonna start it right or I started it sort of right. So tired. Always. How perfect is this avocado? Four minutes till midnight. Almost went to bed early. It's horrible. My my shoulder and my chest just feel that's the best way I can describe it. It's like acid indigestion, sort of. It's long star date. I don't know the start date. 03152016. Also, my right here. That hurts when I like touch it. God, this is such a good sound. Apparently, I heard it in the car with him, but I, I didn't even realize. I remember like I, I shazammed it. Such a good song. When you rise, you are alright. Don't be so shy. You're right. You're right. Romanian word of the day. Machina. Car. Cause your love only gets me abused. Oh. Quabs. Walk.
storm stuff that you can weather, it gets better as you get tougher, and the hard times will make you smarter. For all you have to suffer, I can make sure to pay. Is it desire?